I want to come over here in just a second, John, maybe you too. For today's Monday menu, Chef Jose Salazar of Mitas is sharing one of his favorite dishes. And while it's something from the menu at Mitas, you could easily give it a shot at home. And I know that makes people nervous at first because you're a chef. You know what you're doing. Me, not so much. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but not only is this something I feel like that people could do, but it's something that kids would, I think, have a blast with. It's extremely easy. Yeah. You get so much bang for your buck financially because this is really inexpensive to make. Yeah. But also super easy. I mean, literally I love it. Anybody can do it. I Even you. It. Even I can Even do it. Even you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We're going to start by making the dough. This okay. is a uh, masa harina, which is a cornmeal. So okay. it's gluten-free as well. All right. Um, so it goes in a bowl. Like I said, watch. This is super, super easy. Okay. A little bit of salt. All right. I have some hot water. Hot water, okay. And that's and just it just cornmeal basically. So all, that's, all you, it. that's it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a specific type of cornmeal. Okay. This is the bag here. Oh, okay, great. Guys, like enough, but but here. You can get it at, you know, Kroger. You can get it at almost any grocery okay. store. Okay. This is it. You mix it. All right. And that's it. There was a little salt, a little hot water. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Nothing complicated. Then you take it and you ball it up. This is where you get the kids involved. Okay, so kids, so kids the, are, they're doing all this stuff, right? I mean, it's literally like Play-Doh, okay. right? So okay. you, get, you get them to ball it up. You yeah. keep a damp towel on it. Okay. And then you take it and you get this little press. I mean, these are really inexpensive too. You can okay. get them at, um, <clears throat> excuse me, any Latin American grocery store. You take a Ziploc bag to keep it from sticking and then you smash it down. Yeah, super easy. He's making his own tortillas, right? You, Come on! Right? Look at that. Then you put it onto your cast iron pan. Love it. Right? So do you want to try one? Yeah, I do. Go yeah, for I do. it. All right. All right. So, I'm, so I'm smashing that down. And then how does this? Just That's it. Push. Get some of that. Boom. Yeah. All right. Done. Uh, you throw it. I, well, I, all I, right. I split it. You, you, you Almost did all right. anybody you, you can did do all right. it. All right. Then Good. I have some that I made ahead of time here. Yeah. Um, that's what they look like. Once when you get done. into the cast iron, how long were you? How long were you keeping those on there? Oh, uh, two minutes on each side. Okay, yeah, pretty quick though. Okay. Then I have some uh, ground beef. Yep. This is really easy. Just some onion, some garlic, a little bit of ground beef, um, and a little bit of uh, seasoning. And then you put that on your tortilla. I just think kids would have a blast making the tortillas. Like I think my yeah. like my, my daughter, my youngest would think that was the coolest thing. Look at that, right? Yeah. And then uh, pico de gallo. Yeah. This is uh, tomatoes, onions. A little cilantro, a little lime juice, queso fresco, because queso fresco is delicious. Fantastic, yeah. Can't go wrong with that. No. Queso fresco. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then a little lime wedge for garnish, and that's and basically it. And look what you did. It. I mean, it, it doesn't look like some taco you made out of a box. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, I mean, you, you made it up. You did it, you did it up right. But start to finish, I mean, yeah. you could probably have this meal on the table in half an hour. I, mean, I love it. I love it. That's just super easy. fun. So. Super fun. Um, hey, I wanted to say congratulations. Thank making you. the top 10 since Magazine Thank you. Best Restaurant. Thank you very much. One of the things I was speaking um, with Amanda Boyd Walters about earlier is that there seems to be a camaraderie between all the chefs a little bit. I mean, of course, you're in competition we, a little bit, but it yeah. seems to be a, you know, a community that gets along pretty well. We generally get along and yeah. we support one another and we really try to uplift Cincinnati yeah. and, and shine a little light on our city because. Uh, Sometimes we get overlooked. Yeah. You know, we're in the shadows of Chicago and uh, some of the other markets regionally that maybe get a little more attention, and we're trying to. That's getting better all the time. I mean, pe pe people come here. People yeah. come here for the restaurants yeah. anymore. Yeah, absolutely. So awesome. all right. that's wonderful. That was a Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Out. I'm, I'm gonna eat a little bit Make of this. taco. Yeah, all right, go for it's, it. It's uh, 9:53. We'll be right back.